my planner family and welcome back to another plan with me so this week's inspiration i got it actually from my daughter's artwork i'm entering my kitchen and i usually display her artwork on our fridge and this painting or print that she did inspired me to do this week's kit and she, what she used i think it's a potato masher and she just dipped it into glitter white paint and just made this beautiful artwork. She made this at daycare school. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. It reminds me of doilies. And that's where my inspiration came from for this week's spread, Dainty Doilies. This kit is available in my Etsy shop for the Man Be Happy Planner and the Erin Condren Vertical. I think this kit will work very well in April or May spread because it's pastel, it's spring, and it's bright and fun. Also with this kit, it comes with a matching ombre heart checkbox and my doo-doo list, which is both sewed separately um, year-round. So this was last week's spread. I put the link in the description box down below or at the top right hand corner. You could click there for the link if you have not watched it yet. So this week plan with me, I'll be planning March 7th to the March 13th. Let's get started. Last week I did two things differently. Number one, I did my first no white space planning. And number two, it was my first time using an ombre heart checkbox. Yes, I know it takes me so long just to try this ombre heart checkbox. But honestly, after using my spread for a whole week with the ombre heart checkbox, I actually enjoyed it and loved it. It's a lot organized. I guess you could say like with my writing, I don't have the perfect writing, but the box makes it a lot easier to see. It looks a uh, very well organized and a bit more pleasant to the eyes, I guess you could say. So as you can see this week, I am going to continue using the Ombre Heart checkbox. I am also doing something else differently in this video is that I laid the box down first before I did my headers because I usually start with my headers. But I think, well, I don't know. I find that if I lay my box down first, it's easier to put my headers on straight. So next I'm gonna play with my decorative sticker sheet. It's mostly my sidebars, my washies, and my sidebar check boxes. So I'm just gonna lay down the bottom washi. Now with this pattern, you could flip it up or down and I've decided to have the doilies facing up. As you can see, I just turned it around and around actually <laughs> yes as I said I had it up once that's done I'm gonna work on my sidebar I'm gonna build my sidebar checklist so I have my happy mail down here and then I'm gonna put another checkbox up there to remind me of some important stuff that's going on this week and I'm going to top it off with my daily habit sticker and now I'm going to play around with my full boxes. I'm just going to spread the colors out. I've decided to put the green at the end just to make it as a whole block and also because there's already green at the sidebar so I just want to balance my spread out. I decided that this week is also going to be a no white space spread because practice makes perfect, right? And it was a challenge last week. So this week, I'm going to do it again and going to practice and try it until I get this right. So right now, I'm just picking out the washi to cover the back of my weekend banner. Because it's going to be a no white space spread, my sidebars, as you can see there, not my sidebars, what am I talking about? My header washi is scalloped, so the bottom part of the scallop will show the white. That's why I need something underneath it to cover the white space. 
I'm just testing the colors out and I've decided to use the pink because the pink will make the washi stand out a bit more. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to work on the middle section washi. As always, I lay them down and take a look. And <laughs> there's no brainer because I love gold. I love this new gold foil. It's just so pretty. Like, look at that. I think that's so perfect for my doily spread. Got this from Michaels. It's by Recollection. It comes in a tube. I don't know what how to explain it, but it comes in a tube of 10 or 12 washies. Right now, I'm just measuring out how much I need. And surprisingly, this has a backing. It's not like a washi where you know you could just pull it up, but it has a backing that you have to peel off. Okay, so now to the hard part where I plan my week. That's my notepad slash draft agenda where I write down the events that's going to happen that day. Okay, so Mondays my daughter have school slash daycare. Okay, next it's um, Etsy payday. So I'm just gonna indicate that with an appointment sticker, a flag, and because the flag is bigger than the appointment sticker, I have to stick a washi underneath it because it's going to be a no white space spread, right? So I'm just gonna put a flag there. And then I'm gonna grab a functional icon from my to-do list. As you can see, it's a stack of money. <laughs> I think that's just so cute. I usually put my meal plan sticker at the bottom because it just makes it more uniform if it's all across the bottom and my eyes go toward it. Easier, sorry. And now um, I do need to do grocery shopping because <laughs> We have no food for that night and Monday's always our garbage day so I'm going to indicate that with my garbage icon from my doo, doo list again and I'm just going to place down the things I need to do that day. I'm just going to spread my meal plan sticker throughout the week because it's just easier. So in the following footage, my daughter just woke up from her nap and she decided to pay me a visit in my craft room. Hi, Penny. Hi. What are you doing? <gasps> oh, look at your skirt. You look so pretty. Yeah. I like your dress. It's so pretty. Wow. Watch me, but you can't touch, okay, please? Okay, mommy. 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 Okay, mommy. Okay. Mommy. Okay, mommy. Mommy. Yeah. What is this? That is for my tripod. Oh, yeah. What is this for? That's a light, so it makes the thing look brighter. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, you see, eh? You see. What is this? And that is. Yeah, to no touch, please. What did mommy say? No flower. touch. <laughs> no touch. Flower. I know you see a flower. What is this? But no touch, please. Okay? I want to stickers too. You want to do stickers? Why don't you? Here. Let's see what Lydia has for you. Okay? Yeah. House there. Huh? What rings? Yeah, I know. Mommy has a lot of pretty rings, huh? Yeah. You have one and one and two. Oh, wow. That's a lot. I'll help you. You're gonna help me? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Okay. I'll be better. You'll be better? Yeah.
back to the planning. So because my daughter just turned three in the past month, my husband and I decided to enroll her into preschool this coming September just to prepare her for kindergarten. So we have a school tour that we'll be visiting that morning and I have to do some blood work, hence a doctor's appointment there and Penny has play dates in the afternoon. Wednesday will be my creative day, so I'll be creating or working on my April kits. And I will hopefully upload this video by Wednesday. And here I realized I forgot to indicate my daughter's school slash daycare, so I have to redo that whole section again. My stickers are permanent, but as you can see, it could be peeled pretty easily. So it's pretty forgivable. And the quality of the sticker, like the, the weight of the sticker is pretty heavy. So no matter how, many, how much you peel, it will not rip the sticker. Okay, back to Thursday. So Thursday, I have a doctor appointment in the morning and also it's the last day of my daughter's monkey nastic, which I am going to indicate here. Just got to cover the white space with some washi tape and I'm going to put a flag and a side flag banner just to indicate that it's her last day at monkey nastic. I'm going to film my new releases in the afternoon. Friday, my daughter has school slash daycare again. So we're going to put another little girl there. My husband has a work event that's going on that Friday. So I'm just going to indicate that with another flag. And lastly, edit and upload my new release video on Friday. Now to the weekend, I'm just going to add my weekend banner on top. Sunday, there's a maple festival happening in our city. So my family and my brother's family is going to attend that. So nothing really much is happening on Saturday for us because there's nothing happening for us on Saturday. I decided to use a checklist just to indicate maybe there's some things that I need to buy, but I wasn't too happy having the checkbox up there, so I just moved it down and replaced that with a blank header. So every Sunday is family skate for us, so I'm just gonna indicate that with a half box. fill this bottom part up with some washi because my brother will be visiting that day too well he'll be with us all day because of the festival but they're staying for dinner that night too and then I'm just going to finish up with the rest of the Saturday just to fill in the white space with some more washi and then I didn't like the to buy header because I really don't want to spend money so I just changed it to thankful for. So my camera just stopped recording because it stops recording every 30 minutes and I forgot about time when, when I planned so what I've done here I just added my social media stickers and also my planner sticker. So now I thought I would decorate my spread and I was at Michael's the other day and I saw this beautiful scrapbook paper. <gasps> Look at that, it's gold doilies and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get it for the spread because it will be perfect. So I'm just going to play around with this piece of paper and see where I'm going to place it. So after playing around with it, I've decided to just cut out the doilies individually instead of using the whole paper and I think that will look better.
once everything is done, I'm just going to tape it down with my double-sided Tombow adhesive tape. it's ready for my decorative stickers. I figured it doesn't need much because it's already busy with the gold doilies so I'm just gonna place a few stickers here and there and that's it. everything in now. That's it! I think we're done and here's my favorite part is to place it back into my planner. Well thank you guys for watching and I do appreciate that you guys always watch my videos every week. So thank you, thank you so much and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate if you do. And thank you for those who have subscribed already to my channel. I really, really appreciate that. And for those who haven't, please do because it will notify you when I have new videos up like this. So please subscribe. Yay! But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye. Happy planning.